department is set to roll out plans to ensure that only persons with postgraduate doctoral degrees and a certificate in education will qualify to teach in the university. As it stands, the qualifications you need to lecture in the university are a good bachelor's degree, possibly a master's degree, and for almost all disciplines, a PhD in the relevant field. But speaking as the Meet the Press series on Tuesday, Education Minister Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe also announced that a PhD plus a certificate on education will now be required. Nancy Emefa Jadosi was at the event and has more. Addressing journalists at the Information Ministry, Dr. Matthew Pukuprempe reiterated government's commitment to promote quality education. This, he says, includes quite a number of reforms. From next year, or from this year, these colleges would apply, students wanting to go to these colleges, will apply through their universities to go into those training colleges. They become university colleges of education. And when you finish, your degree will bear the name of University of Ghana and not at the other university. It is also to help the university develop the capacity of teachers within the colleges of education. He adds, anyone seeking to get enrolled into the College of Education will also be required to apply through the college's affiliate university to obtain a degree and no more a diploma. Now, if you don't hold a PhD, a very soon PhD plus certificate in education, you will not be able to teach in the university. That very soon, everybody who wants to teach in this country should at least have a degree. It has consequences on the national budget because you employ degree holders, you employ them on a higher scale than you employ a diploma. But that is not what government is thinking. Government is thinking that learning outcomes should be more important than the budgets that we are pinching. On the Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana, CETA strike over issues with their market premium and book research allowance and which has kept the teachers out of the classroom since October 29, Dr. Opoku Prempe says government is still in negotiations with the association. We can't say do we support them if government has said you have upgraded them, pay them, yeah, we'll go through the systems and pay them. But we are asking them to sit down and negotiate with fair wages and salaries. Because though they are tertiary, they are not university. So we would continue to engage CTAC till we come to the resolution uh, of that. He also announced the Ghana Institute of Journalism, Ghana Institute of Languages, and the National Film and Television Institute, NAFTI, will soon be consolidated into one fully fledged university. Before the advent of Matipoku Prempe in the Ministry of Education, these institutions all wanted to be universities. In fact, my handing over note is in. In fact, the current government took it through another stakeholder meeting chaired by Professor Yanka. And in fact, none of them qualified to be a university. The other thing is that they all get award degrees from the University of Ghana or one other university. And we felt we've taken the position that the three can be three schools in a university. And they award their own degrees. Dr. Prempe also announced that trainee teachers have agreed to undergo the mandatory national service which they earlier kicked against. Nancy MFA Jadosi, Joy News. Now we've been joined by the National Secretary of the Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana, Setai, Prince of Inghima. Prince, thanks for your company. Thank you very much. In the first place, um, you are currently on strike. The education minister says that you, he's negotiation, negotiating with your body. Um, how far have those negotiations come? When are you expecting to go back to the classrooms? I wish you good morning. And all the people doing that.
Prince Obeng Hima is the national president of the Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana. Like you heard the education minister, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, say there, CETAG is currently on strike. A number of issues have been raised, including markets premium. Now, he has asked them to negotiate with the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, and after which uh, they can come to an amicable solution and the issue will be resolved. So um, the representation made by Education Minister uh, Dr. Matteo Pokoprempe is that they are in talks with CETAG. Um, they are looking for a resolution with them. Now, we want to find out from Prince how far those talks have come, if their issues are being addressed, if they are satisfied, if they see a way forward um, as far as their concerns are, um, as far as the, the concerns they raised. Uh, to be considered. Now, Prince has joined us this time via phone. Thanks again, Prince. Uh, what's the latest on your negotiations with government? Thank you. I was just making a quick correction that my name, you had it right. I'm the National President for the Association. And uh, I rightly said I wish to say good morning to all my people across the country uh, who have given me the opportunity to serve in that capacity. Uh, for now, I must say that we are still where we were before we embarked on the strike action. Our position hasn't changed. Officially, we met with the government team on the 9th of November, but there wasn't any uh, conclusion reached because government uh, still maintains the position that it maintains, and we also feel that ours is a very legitimate claim. So government should extend to us what is deserving of us. Having worked as people in the tertiary dispensation from 2004 up to this time, especially when people have had to go on retirement, sleep for the country without anything to benefit from. So with specific mention to book and research allowance and market premium, which are legitimate arrangements that are made and given to teachers who teach in tertiary education institutions, we are rightfully and respectfully asking government to extend those packages to us. Right. Um, after the 9th of November meeting, have you met with government again? We haven't. Um, so at that point, who is supposed to call? Is it, the, is it your organization? Is it government? Is it the Ministry of Education? Or is it even the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission? We are employed by government. So if we have uh, put on the table what we think is deserving of us, we think government has to address it to the relevant uh, ministry or agency within government setup that is supposed to address our concerns. So for us, the government team or those who are supposed to see to this include the National Council for Tertiary Education, the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, who plays a key role here. Because in Ghana, they are mandated by Act 737, as it were, to negotiate for and on behalf of government. And deeming our claim legitimate, they invited us for negotiation. So they should be able to uh, answer to you why government has not come forth. Well, government's position right. that we qualify, but government hasn't got money to pay this year. So we should continue on the retention premium. When, indeed, the National Council for Tertiary Education admits that the retention premium is alien when it comes to package for teachers in the tertiary dispensation, then when we accept it, it is discriminatory in nature. So that is just the point we are making. Is that on, not a more pragmatic solution? Government has been upfront with you to say, look, you have legitimate concerns, but we don't have money. I believe that it's about priority. But from independence, government hasn't had money. Just like in our own homes, the fact that you decided not to attend that funeral over the weekend because you had school fees to pay means that you have put premium on your child's school fee. Government has a lot of things to do. The fact that government has decided to do other things and neglect ours means that ours is not a priority. And we think that as gatekeepers of teaching and learning in the colleges, ours should come first. Or thinking of upgrading the colleges, the equal responsibility of the nation and government towards us should as well have been uh, uh, the, the government's uh, attention, uh, should have called the government's attention right from day one, not only to be interested in the product, as we see at the moment. Right. Uh, away from that issue, uh, Mr. Benhima, uh, some new reforms have been proposed by the Education Minister, Dr. Matthew Poku Pempe, one of which is that persons applying to colleges of education will have to apply through affiliate institutions. You're a teacher in a, in a college of education. What do you make of this? We think that it is a, 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 a laudable innovation. The key thing is that 
when students apply to come into the institution, uh, the money accrued from that is public funds. And uh, what we are interested in is the safety of the money. Because in time past, we have always insisted that uh, the authorities have not been very forthcoming and transparent regarding how these funds have been uh, you know, utilized in some of the colleges. Indeed, when you go to some of the colleges, you realize that some of these uh, proceeds have been used for visible projects that people can see. Right. Elsewhere, uh, people will give their own uh, definition of how they spend the money and stuff like that. Right. So if we feel that that is the shortest way to safeguard the money, fine. As gatekeepers of teaching and learning in the colleges, we will be interested that the, 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 the affiliation document that will be signed between the colleges and then the affiliate universities will come out in explicit terms. How much in percentage terms of the money or the income that is generated within the colleges for the affiliate universities will be retained and used to develop the facilities in the colleges and for that matter, mm. support the teachers in the colleges to upgrade their, their, their status up to the required status that we will need going forward. Let's so talk a bit more about this required status, um, this PhD and postdoctoral certificate in education. Do you accept this or is it excessive? You see, the uh, reform conversation started way back in 2015. Uh, and in 2015, Ghana saw the need to up our game regarding education so that people who come out of our schools will have the competencies that can measure to what children in Malaysia, Uganda, and elsewhere complete schools and have in terms of arithmetic, in terms of reading, in terms of speaking, and all of that. And... Uh, the Ministry of Education put in place Transforming Teacher Education and Learning, TTEL, Government of Ghana uh, project with support from the good people of the UK, technical support and all of that. Okay. And all these conversations have been on. SISTAC has been integral part. We have richly contributed to that. We knew that going forward, we'll get to a moment like this. Okay. But I have to assure you that we have quite a good number and a rising percentage of the teachers who already possess PhDs. We have quite a good number who are at several levels of their PhD programs, and we have others who are enrolling. Okay. Because we envisage that within the next four years, that is where we will get to. So you that saw it coming. Reason we are asking governments to take our welfare issue seriously. Because for us, we are not convinced. When people complete PhD, they remain in the college, and they have to work for two and a half months, or almost three months, before what they take will equal an equally PhD holder in the university takes. So when you look at the saturating rate, the rate at which people who have PhD in the colleges are leaving the colleges for the universities, it's not good enough. That's why we're asking that all these welfare issues should be addressed. And then two, let me also mention that when you even go to the university, the University of Ghana, the premier university, is the one who has the highest number of PhD holders in the university. I stand for correction, but I know that there are percentages around 49, 48%. We put together all the lecturers they have. Those who are PhD holders will not be even up to 50%. Okay. Indeed, we have people who are at several levels. Even that one, you have to add those who are on contract, have com uh, on retirement and have been called right. back. So in the university, we have assistant lecturership, which is a recognized rank. And people over there teach with second degree. And they are being supported to do the PhD. And that is what we are talking about. So you would like are, conditions mm -hmm. like that in the colleges of education? I beg your pardon? I am asking if your request is that you would like conditions like what is at the universities uh, to be at the colleges of education. You see, that is quite an erroneous impression. I'm, we have a, I'm just said... asking a question, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm asking if that is what your request is, that you would like similar conditions of work in the universities to pertain in the colleges of education? For now, the request we are making that has kept us away from the lecture halls for 17 days is that in the universities, in the technical universities, in the polytechnics, we have people who hold second degrees, which are the same as the second degrees that we hold. And these people have been entitled to market premium and book and research allowance. And we also be members who teach in tertiary or analogous tertiary institutions and hold second degrees, we are also entitled to that. So we are Thank asking you. for 
equal conditions of service Thank with you. people in uh, the universities and the Teika universities who hold similar qualification that we do. And Thank that is you. the emphasis. Who Thank holds similar qualifications right. as we do? Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Prince Obinghima. He's a national president of the Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana, CETAG. It's time now for business. Emmanuel Abuajiriafi has the very latest. Stay.